Hallelujah. It's uh, and, uh, let me tell you something. It's a beautiful sight to see. See where? It, it, Bahama or the Bahama water in the Caribbean Sea. And if you look at the the world of the Bahama, I've been there um, before. You can see the water beautiful. The, the clear water, clear, pure in water, that ocean. Hmm? It's very, very beautiful. You can see uh, the, 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 to the bottom. Hmm? No, uh, you know, like uh, uh, crystal clear water. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Crystal clear water, hmm? uh, and uh, like uh, it, it, nothing polluting them that water, uh, uh, no devil in there is no in, in, in what in, in any kind of uh, uh, garbage. Hmm? So, what I'm saying, our minds can be like uh, that world uh, that I'm preaching today. Pursuit of purity. Your mind. Christian. Christian mind. That I'm speaking to you. Huh? Hallelujah. Bible says, Hebrews 12, chapter 14. Hmm? Make every effort in peace in your life with a man. Huh? Hold, be holy. Without the holiness, no one will see God. I have another word. Well known uh, scripture, and uh, uh, Jesus Christ said, uh, as the beauty to the summer mountain, uh, the verse 5 8, yes, blessed, oh, oh my God. blessed those who are pure in heart, pure in heart, hallelujah. Huh? Our mind, your mind, my mind, Christian mind can be like that water pure in heart, like Bahama Sea, Caribbean water. Oh, beautiful. I can't express my world. Huh? I, I can see on into the bottom, a lot of fishes going and what and no pollute and oh my hallelujah I want you want to be like that mind but we we need you need to make it to be like to maintain the purity in in our heart, what can we do? Here is a, I want to tell you, here is a, uh, we have to do that. Uh, there are practical things we got to do to make pure in heart. That's what God wants us. Jesus Christ wants us. Huh? Uh, and to sustain godly purity, godly purity, or to attain purity to do, especially with falling down, you know. You, uh, we have to, to, to attend the to church every Sunday, of course, and read the Bible, of course, we have to pray. You may read uh, 
uh, the biblical examples uh, illustrating uh, the, the, you can see the Bible, kind of the person you are supposed to be. Impurity. Impurity comes so many different forms into your mind in every day. The alert your mind. Impurity. Spiritually, spirit of evil, this world. Because we are living in the evil world. We are living in the crazy world. Huh? Yeah. You may be someone uh, in the, in the, who are uh, not you. I, I, I'm not talking to somebody. <laughs> you may be someone who the views in, in, in the pornography on the internet. Huh? Perhaps uh, you are uh, young mom who uh, I'm not talking to somebody who the watches mindly and standards the moves in TV when your child sleeping or maybe you are the grandmother who Read the race romance novel again. Let me tell you, listen good. These are, I've told you, uh, all very, very different activities they are doing. Even they don't know what they are doing. But, but, uh, they all forms of the same thing they are doing. Huh? You are watching. Be careful. What I'm saying, I'm talking about the in Purity. Even though you may think uh, it's minor, it's okay. It's a small thing that doesn't affect me. Uh, it doesn't affect with the kind that I'm doing. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. We must remove every bit of those things from our lives. It's a very, very important issue to Christian be careful to living in, in this simple world. We were told that such a compromise is not acceptable to God. We can't be okay with the thing we are doing that pollute us, influence us, even you don't know yourself. Or you are doing simply to ignore such a like thing you did. I'm telling you. No, Bible tells us. Ah, what they did. Yeah. Uh, uh, the first Thessalonica 5, chapter 21, 22. Avoid every kind of evil. 
get away. Every kind of evil thing. A little pollution that you think it's okay. Sometimes you could compromise with that. Is still toxic that kills you, hurts you, upset your mind, going to tempt you. Be careful. We are constantly challenged by the impurity that surrounds us because we are living this darkness place. You are the light. God, you got the sh sh mission God gave you. Shine the, your light. All right, then is it enough? No. What more we gotta do? I wanna tell more. I'm still preaching the purity in your mind, like a pure in heart. Jesus Christ wants us. That is very important. We see the God's plan, God's will. We can see God's purpose toward you. If we pursued, if we followed His commandment, we will see the God's tremendously plan toward you. If you, pure in heart, uh, we must, um, let me tell you, we must do, do good work. There's another side I'm telling you. What we have to do right now of course you pursue to carry out your mind to maintain and keeps your mind pure in heart by the reading, pray, attending to the church service that God want to pour out to make a clean. Then, what is the next step you got to do? We have to do attack an evil stronghold. Fold the march to the heaven world that God is looking for you. Your step in every day. Bible says Matthew 11 chapter 12 from the days of the John Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven has been advancing Forcefully, the forces will lay hold of it. We have to replace these negative activities with positive thinking and activity. We have to change our mind. That is very important. And transform our thinking 
and every time. So that our action, action will be different. Let me tell you, the passage, Romans 12, chapter 1 through the 2, offer your body as a living sacrifice. This is a spiritual act of the worship. Be transformed by renewing your mind. Do not be conformed any longer the pattern of this age. By transform, tra be transformed by your renewing your mind. Listen, then you will be able to test what. God's will is and pleasing to the Lord and what God is good and his proposal. You can see his proposal. God tells us to be passionate and say yes to the good things. Good things, not bad, good things, good, goodness, because God is good, God is good, God is good, hallelujah. Huh? Ah, I want to give you the, it's a beautiful word, Holy Spirit touch me, the, 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 listen, listen my friend, Micah 6 chapter 8. Hmm? I have shown what is good. <laughs> Be a act justly. Love mercy. Hmm? Act justly. Love mercy. To walk humbly with God. I'm going to show you another passage. Ephesians uh, uh, 2 10. You are, listen, 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 my brother and sister. You are His workmanship creating Jesus Christ to the good works. Good works, not evil works, bad works. Good works. Because you. That's why you, you and me, God created. That we are here. That we are living now. That's the purpose of the life. We, you are created. God to the good works. God has prepared in advance. Listen, good. In advance for us to the good. Ah, nah, oh, holy, touch me. I want to sh show you, show you and, uh, Ecclesiastes 12, chapter 13. Your, uh, all things had been heard. This Solomon said. Here is a conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord. Keep commandment. That's it. That's it. That's what we gotta do that in this life until we go to heaven. Those scriptures I have told you right now is clearly, simply, the sum of the uh, the whole thing. What we have to do in this world until go to heaven show us so okay uh, yeah, just, 
I, I want to tell you, just think of, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that uh, you been received uh, emotional benefit from the God. Uh, freedom from the guilty. Yeah? You know what I'm talking about. Freedom uh, from the uh, you know, you know, emotional wound del scars for life of freedom from worry, anxiety, uh, fear. Ah. It, it, those things is the main our emotional enemy. I want to tell you, you know that. Uh, so you got a lot of things, the, the emotional benefit from the God since you believe Jesus Christ. Can I give it to this? Uh, the blessing that you got the, this blessing from the God since you believe in Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, by the way, blessing in Hebrew word is happy. I, yeah, I, I am happy. I'm very happy right now. That is Hebrew original meaning word is blessing. So you are you're blessed, tremendously blessed, abundantly blessed from the God. Huh? So we we pursue the purity. I'm still, my today's sermon is the purity of our mind. Purity, like clear, crystal clear water, ocean. It changes. I'm going to approach the, my conclusion today's sermon. Don't go, don't, still listen, my friend. Don't go there. When we the carry out that the follow, God's instruction, God's divine guideline, God us, it changes our relationship to God. That is very, very important. God wants us. Hmm? We want to change our character. Even changes how we view ourselves most important it changes our relationship with God whom you love. We no longer have to be marginal Christian. No, no, no. no. You are not marginal Christian. You are children of God. God loves you. You are bigger than more than all this world, God is looking, God is going to cherish you. Bible says, Matthew 16, 26, if you lose your heart, what is profit to you? What can exchange with your life to anything? Okay. We see His perfect and clear will for our own life. Hmm? You, then you will see, you can realize motivation God gave it to you. This is uh, Proverbs 16, chapter 2. Hmm? All men's way seem innocent to him. Motivation are weighed 
vai do lodo, si incoparte. Mm? Oh, hallelujah! You don't have to fear that, you know, you are out there on your own with no help. No, God is willing to help you because God loves you. He's going to let you and willing to support to you because you have a pure in heart. God knows. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. There is no perfect Christian, hmm? no perfect man. But sometimes you can get discouraged, it's okay. Huh? Sometimes you are addicted to the sea in one form or another and may fall down. But we can convince and, and to the Lord God going to give you the strength and we believe we will overcome this world. Jesus Christ said to us, we got the victory. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord, because you are pure in heart. God going to look at your heart every day because God does not look at our outward appearance. Man look at the things. Your heart is very, very pure in heart. You will see God's plan, God's will, God's Propose because you are, you are precious children of the God. Hallelujah. Oh, so good. I, you will taste God's good. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I, I, I hope you're going to enjoy this message. This world, keep your mind. See you later. Bye bye. Hallelujah. I, 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 and thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah, Lord. Your heart will. Your heart will is God knows. Thank you. Hallelujah.